story of a lady who went apartment hunting one day, and she found the perfect apartment. It was just perfect for her situation, so she signed the lease, she went home, she started to pack, and as she was packing her possessions, she started to visualize where she would put her things in that new apartment. She figured she could put the couch over here along that wall, and the television set here, and the chair here, and she could sit there if that TV was just a situated right. And this picture would look good on this wall, and that other picture would go on this wall. And around the apartment she went, organizing where she would put her things in that new apartment. And as she was visualizing all of this, she realized she could not remember where the bathroom was. And the more she thought about it, the more concerned she became. And she thought, well, I better write the landlord a letter and find out about it. So she wrote a letter asking where the toilet was, and then she got embarrassed, and she thought, oh dear, I can't write toilet in the letter. What should I say? She said, I know, I'll use the term water closet. And she wrote her letter asking the landlord where the water closet is, but she abbreviated it and put, where is the WC located? Well, now the landlord got the letter, and of course he was thinking, what in the world is the WC? And finally it dawned on him, he knew what she was talking about. She was looking for the location of the Waverly Church. So he wrote back a letter to her, and this is the letter that he wrote. And he said, Dear Madam, you will be pleased to know that the WC is located only three blocks away. It's a lovely stroll on a nice day. You will find that most all of the tenants use the facilities there. Most go only once a week and stay for an hour or two. However, some feel it necessary to go more often. If you go on Sundays, I suggest you go early. Many arrive just in time and have trouble getting to a seat. If you prefer to stay to yourself, I would suggest going on Wednesday evenings, as Sundays be tend to become crowded. Why, just last Sunday it was so crowded there were nearly two people in every seat. I'm sure you will be pleased to know there is always musical accompaniment whenever you go there. Everyone who goes there finds it to be a true spiritual experience and leaves feeling refreshed and revitalized. If I can be of further assistance, please let me know, your landlord. Now, I'm sure you'll agree with me that in this situation, there was a major communication problem. Peter Drucker, the great management consultant, says that 60% of all problems in businesses today stem from faulty communication. Now, I believe in our jewelry stores, that number is even higher. Poor communication between the customer and the salesperson and between the salesperson and the bench jeweler during the work results in the majority of the problems that we have. 